Good morning, good afternoon, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have my Xbox One X right here. And while I must say it is a beast in games, it does take a while to get into these games. And so what are we gonna do? Well, uh, we're gonna take advantage of this, and this, and make it a goddamn beast. <laughs> So first, before we even start, what is this and what is this? So this, if you don't know already, is, is a SATA SSD with one terabyte of storage. Now this has a one terabyte hard drive. And now if you don't know the difference of that, uh, quickly, in a hard drive is a mechanical drive with a disc and a, it kind of like a record. It has a needle that goes onto the disc as it spins. And that's how you kind of mechanically find all of your files and all, all that you would use a drive for. Now this is all digital. It's all instant and depending on how fast you get one, it is a ton better than a hard drive. Now this SSD right here stands for solid state drive. Well, what does that mean? It's all digital. So it's one terabyte of all digital storage, which means pretty much instant stuff. You don't need any, any disc spinning, that's it. So you can obviously see how much faster that would be. Now this right here, it is a device that allows us to clone our hard drive to the SSD. So what this would do is just help save some headaches between taking a bunch of USBs and all that and installing the Xbox OS on this and stuff like that. Let's crack this open, shall we? So if you flip the Xbox over into the back, you will see you have one, two screws right here, uh, by the way. Um, you will have to take this off on this side. Oh, someone destroyed that. Holy cow. Okay, so already I've run into a bit of a problem here. Uh, I don't know what happened to the back of this thing, but somebody destroyed these screws. Kind of just gotten in a flathead right here. And if you apply enough Hulk smash pressure. Oh, I'm breaking everything. Hi, Dom and Editing here. Just to let you know, there's going to be a lot of speeding up in this video. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, I might have taken five years off of my life expectancy uh, unscrewing that, but now we got the other one, so remove another maybe three. Oh, no, this is definitely going to do six. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. We should be able to just slide this off right here. Very, very nice. Well, okay, here we go. Holy cow. <clears throat> I mean, they, they do, they gotta just, just do away with these torque screws. Like, every time I see them, I feel like I just, I just wanna like leave, just leave everything. <laughs> Oh, it's even smaller. Oh, Xbox, you really playing with me here, aren't you? Okay, let's take this out. Okay, now we should be good. Uh, uh. Oh, I broke everything. Okay, should just need to be remove this one and one other. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, okay, let's lift this back, and there we go, there it is. Okay, just take this out, uh, and I guess be careful. I mean, at this point, is it that important? Hey, look, more of our good friend torque screws. All right, and here we go. Oh wait, that's like a just really normal hard drive. As you can see here, it's just it's just like a hard drive. I mean. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, just remove this right here, and there we go. Okay, it's at this point in time where we want to clone this hard drive to this SSD. And so, how do we do that? Well, we use this. And so, essentially what this does is it allows us to do cloning. Uh, only thing is, before we start sticking this into here and this into there and start cloning all the uh, all that files and what, whatnot, we need to format this and initialize it so Xbox can, well, anything can read it. So first we want to just put this in here, make sure it's connected to a computer, and turn it on. Okay, now you can see my computer just to the left of your screen. 
and well there's nothing in our this pc drive so what you have to do is you have to close out of this right click windows go to computer management go to disk management and click it and you should be prompted with this just click gpt okay and come to unallocated down here new simple volume next next and you can really name this whatever you want uh, just so my computer doesn't get confused again or same i don't get confused i'm gonna name it x for xbox okay so you do want to format it real quick just to you know just be safe so i've named it i made it ntfs file format because you want to do that xbox will not read it in xfan uh, fat 32 whatever um also i named it xbox ssd because well why not right um and next finish to the format there you go now we can see it here at that point we can just turn this thing off and i'll show you how to clone okay so when you see the a and b are both working you want to unplug it from the pc you want to hold the clone for three seconds and when you see 100 percent go blue hit it quick and now you see uh, well it's working well this is what i bid you do for like the next hour or so so uh yeah see you then it, it has not been an hour this thing took i mean it was thorough i checked it i mean everything was perfectly fine but it took <laughs> it's 11 30 p.m right now i started at like 6 30 so it took um, it took about five hours to clone but it's gonna be worth it now uh, if i can move the camera like this to show you guys uh, I do have a bit of a mess around here, um, yeah, so I'm gonna just spare you guys all of that pain and suffering on my end, and, um, let's get to the benchmarks, shall No we shan't, because this is a 45 minute recording, spent up so much to the point where Premiere Pro couldn't do it anymore. This recording is the entire dreadful and quite frankly satanic process of me putting together that Xbox. So, um, yeah, I just had to show you this, just so you guys understand the dedication I'm putting into this 347 subscribers. Alright, well, welcome to the past. So, we're going to do some benchmarks here on the hard drive. Alright, let's launch a game of Fortnite now. All right, um, that was a really long time. Uh, all right, now let's open a game of Forza Horizon 5 right now. Okay, I mean, that wasn't too bad. And finally, maybe a lighter game, a lighter title. Let's try Minecraft now. Okay, and um, I mean, that wasn't too bad. I mean, for a game like Minecraft, I do think it should and can be faster. But well, let's skip to the future and see what that's looking like. Well, ladies and gents, the moment of truth. Oh, we turned on, it turned on, it turned on. Well, I made this sound. Uh, it's not exactly turning on. Yes! Oh, look at that, I didn't. I, I, I knew I broke that ribbon cable for the light. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we'll open up a game of Fortnite and go. That's unbelievable. Holy cow. Yo, that's like, that's like five times faster than before. All right, Forza and go. Wow, that was also a good deal faster than Fortnite was just insane. Alright, our last game, Minecraft. And go. Okay, I mean that was just 
that, that's, that's just insane. That was like, that was like 10 times faster, at least. So now the question remains, was it worth it? Was it worth hours of my time, sanity, and life expectancy to just break the light on this thing and give it an SSD? Well, I think it depends how much you use your Xbox. Now, I don't use this too much, so it was kind of just a project, a video idea, but <clears throat> if you do use your Xbox a lot, I say give it a go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings me to the end of this video. A suggestion will come up in just a second if you want to see another one. Until next time, please send me a link if you know how to fix this light. <laughs> Good night.